Apostle Wings, don't they? So, so house implies firm. It should, it should. House should imply firm. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. In my introduction, I spoke of a structural dwelling place called a house. But the same word, I'm not necessarily talking about the building. I'm talking about those that occupy the building. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. See, house is tied to this idea of family. When we think about the one that created the concept of a house, we cannot isolate it from a family. Okay, okay, okay. Unless you have raised your children and your children have grown up and they've gone on to build their own house. House implies at one point in time you raise your children up in the love and admonition of the Lord so that they can go and build their own house. Amen. Mm -hmm. One thing that's missing in today's society is that somehow our boys are not learning to be house builders. All right, all right, all right, all right. You can't marry nobody until you got somewhere to put them. That's right, amen. Young man, let me help you, let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. We, 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 we are raising up a, a generation of young men, some of us, not, not, not us in this room, not, 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 us, not us in this room, not, not us in this room. But, but, the, but there's a generation of young men that are coming up right now that don't understand the spiritual concept of being a house builder. And then on the flip side, on the flip side, on the flip side, we got a generation of girls that don't know how to be home makers. Right, right, right. <coughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, we're raising up a, a generation of, uh, 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 well, you always got uh, 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 the mouth all turned up and always got this happening, always got an attitude and uh, rolling their neck all the time, but they don't know how to build a home. That's why God said man and a woman. He, he put man and woman together because he designed the man to be the house builder. He designed the woman to be the home maker. Amen. See, when you got the woman to trying to be the house builder, you got out of order. You, you out of order. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And one works with the other. Mm -hmm. If you have people that understand the appropriate role and responsibility in the house, you have peace instead of chaos. You got it according to the blueprint of the designer. Jesus, help us over So what is God saying here? God is saying either I build the house slash family or it's not a family. It's just a bunch of folk thrown together. Wow. Woo, Jesus. I don't want to get in trouble here, but some things we think of family are, are not family. They're just a bunch of folk thrown together. They're just a bunch of people occupying the same space. Woo, Jesus. They, they're just a bunch of folk thrown together in the same four walls. But I challenge you today, you can, you can be a family today. You can be, you can be a family today. Now, now, what is this saying? What is this saying? It is saying even though structurally people are living in the same dwelling place called a house, they really do not have a house because they only have some mess that man threw together, calling it a house instead of the Lord building your house. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Either we have man's idea of a house or God's divine blueprint for a house slash family. Now, if you do it God's way, God promises an inheritance in the house. Amen. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. If you do it man's way, you do it man's way, no inheritance. But if you do it God's way, there's a promised inheritance in the house. Thank you, Lord. Oh, boy, 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 boy. boy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the thing that folk might call 
The house might as well be a Motel 6. It's just a place you 